Hi there, my name is Al. I use she, her gender pronouns, and I am a mental health student leader at Health Promotion and Wellness. Today, I will be talking to you about expressive writing. Expressive writing is one of the many forms of self-care that you can do in order to make time for yourself. Expressive writing creates an opportunity for us to take a momentary step back from whatever it is that may be going on in our lives in order to reflect and check in with ourselves. It allows us to make time to elaborate on what it is that we are feeling and give space for ourselves in order for us to become active listeners and creators and manifestors of our lives as opposed to passive viewers. Those moments in which we feel overwhelmed, we can use expressive writing as a healthy way and healthy outlet for us to express ourselves. It works to manage anxiety, reduce stress, cope with depression, and so much more, as it is a written documentation that can help us to prioritize our problems, fears, and concerns, and declutter our mind but it can also help us to track any symptoms that we face on a day to day. For instance, we can write down what triggered us today in order for us to become more knowledgeable of ourselves, our needs, and ways in which we can work to take better care of ourselves and ground ourselves in those specific moments. It can also provide a space in which we can track any repetitive negative thoughts and behaviors that we may have towards ourselves and provide room for us to write affirmations, write goals, and manifest those goals. These are just some ways in which expressive writing can work to serve us and our mental health journey, but there are many other ways in which you may find that it helps you as well. The first tip that I have for you is to find a relaxing and soothing place for you to do this activity in. For instance, that may be out in nature, at the beach, at a park bench. If you do not have access to leave wherever you're at, you can consider lighting a candle, brewing up a cup of coffee or tea, listening to some music, but you deserve to feel comfortable before you get vulnerable. Find the medium in which you feel most comfortable writing in and have access to. There is the plain old pen to paper journal. Here are a couple of mine. I have also used Google Docs on my laptop because I like the idea of typing sometimes because I type faster than I can write. And as we're talking about devices, we can also use the Notes app on our smartphone and also download apps from the App Store to use such as Day One, Momento, or Mood Notes. There's a couple of free options for you to explore out there. But whatever medium you end up choosing, try to keep it on you at all times so that you can use it whenever you need it and it is there for you whenever you may need it. Try to make a consistent effort to try. Some of us may be very busy, so if that's the case, consider setting a timer for you to journal 10 minutes a day. Just 10 minutes out of our day can't hurt anybody, right? It's time we're investing in ourselves and it will serve us in the future. Keep in mind that this is a space for you. So who cares if there's typos, if there's incomplete sentences, if there's some deep, dark, evil, ugly, there's no such thing as ugly emotions, but you know what I mean? Like you can write anything in there. It's not for anyone else to read, it's for you. And with that being said, you can also get creative with it. I like to use colorful pens inside my journal because I'm a person that's really drawn to color and I find that the more colorful my journal entries are, the more tempted I am to return to my journal. So I also have colored pencils. I also have some 
colorful markers and I also have this whole box of stickers and scraps of magazines that I like to use in order to just fully express myself in a way that I find fun. I will also be providing some journal prompts for you to get started in the description. For me, sometimes I use prompts from conversational toolkits that I already own or I write about what happened in my day or I write about something that pissed me off or I write about things that I'm grateful for. It really differs and if you prefer to have some guidance on how to get started, do check out what I write in the description box. I hope that this video was insightful and inspiring. For more information and resources regarding other self-care activities and opportunities and resources, do go check out our website. It is wellness.sfsu.edu forward slash mental hyphen health. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you when I see you. Or not. But have an amazing day. Or night. Or afternoon wherever you are. Bye. I think now is a good time to go journal.